Hello, I'm Mayor Bill Carpenter. Over the next few months, my office will be producing a series of ESL classes that specialize in helping Brockton residents acquire English skills to increase employment opportunities. This class is called English for Employment. This represents an unprecedented partnership between the Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board, CareerWorks, the Brockton Public Schools, Brockton Community Access, and the Mayor's Office. We hope you find this series useful as we continue our mission to bring vital services to the residents of the City of Brockton. Your cover letter, which we are going to write today, is going to go on your USB. That is important because the cover letter, you cannot send a resume if you find a job posting and a job that you want to apply for and you say, wow, I really want to apply for this job. And it says send your resume and a cover letter to this company. You cannot send your resume without a cover letter. They won't, most managers won't look at it. If they just get a, a resume by fax or by email and there's no cover letter, they won't know what the resume applies to. They'll just say, well, what, what is this resume for? Many managers will not look at your resume if a cover letter does not accompany it. So we're going to write a cover letter, a generic cover letter that you can use to fill in important information that you can send along with your resume when you want to apply for a job. So we're going to write that cover letter today, a sample cover letter, a model cover letter, um, and you're going to save it on your USB so that you can use it again and again. And then finally we are going to write, if we have time today, we'll write it today. If not, we'll write it in the future. A thank you note that you can send immediately after your interview. When you have a job interview, remember it's important immediately afterward to send a thank you note to your interviewer saying thank you for taking the time to interview me. I'm very interested in the job. I hope to hear from you soon. Print it out, send it immediately. It's a little introduction. You introduce yourself. It's the first page and it literally it covers your resume. <laughs> and it's, an, it's a little introduction. It's very short, but it introduces you to the employer and it says, here's my resume. I would like to apply for this job. So as we do for good pronunciation, because we are, English is our second language and we want to work on good confidence and good pronunciation, let's read together. Here we go. Writing a cover letter. Writing a cover letter. Good confidence, good enunciation. Writing a cover letter. Much better. Notice up in the corner, I put my little two cents in here, always typed. You're always going to type your cover letter. Sometimes a thank you note can be handwritten, but never a cover letter. Cover letter always must be typed. And that's why it's good to have it on a USB, because you don't have to type it again and again and again. Here we go. When you send a resume to a manager, when you send you also need to send a cover letter. You also need to send a cover letter. In a cover letter, In a cover letter you introduce yourself to a manager. You introduce yourself to a manager. You need to write, you need to write about why you are the best person for the job. About why you are the best, best person for the job. Many managers will not read your resume. Many managers will not read your resume. If you do not send a cover letter. If you do not send a cover letter. So sometimes when you just fax your resume, they get it off the fax machine and they say, what's this? We don't know what job they're interested in. Some companies have multiple, if you go on to a, a website, for example, for Mass General Hospital, they, they might have 25, 30, 40, hundreds of jobs open. If they just get a resume and they don't know what job you're applying for, they're not going to take the time to try to figure out. They want to know. So you're in your cover letter, you, you explain to them, this is the job I'm interested in, these are my qualifications. So it's very important to write a cover letter. 
Next paragraph. A cover letter should be very short. Less than one page. You must type your cover letter. You must type your cover letter. And you need to use a business letter style. And you need to use a business letter style. In other words, you're not going to write your cover letter the same as you would write a letter to your mom back in your country or your friends over in California. <laughs> We're going to use a very business-like style. How to write a cover letter. <laughs> you need to write this information in your cover letter. You need to write this information in your cover letter. Does anybody remember what these things are called, these little dots? In, what are those called? Those little dots in a memo or in a business correspondence. They would be called periods at the end of a sentence. But when they are in a memo or in any kind of business correspondence, Believe it or not, these are called bullets. Same thing that comes out of a gun. It's kind of a strange name, isn't it? <laughs> but in, a, in business correspondence or in memos, those are called bullets. So the first bullet <laughs> says, your name, your, name. Your, address, your address, today's date, today's date. the manager's name and job title, manager's name and job title. The company name and address. The company name and address. The greeting. greeting. And under greeting, it's very important. It's very important to send your cover letter and resume. To send your cover letter and resume to the person who does the hiring. To the person who does the hiring. Be sure to spell the name correctly. Be sure to spell the name If you cannot find out the manager's name, uh-oh, let's try that one again. <laughs> if you cannot find out the manager's name, you can write to whom it may concern. You would send it to whom it may concern. Have you seen that before? That's, that's just a very formal way of saying to the person who is in charge of hiring for this position. It's a very formal way of saying to the person in charge of this position. Okay? After the greeting comes the body. Let's pronounce it body. Body. Give the title of the job you are applying for. Give the title of the job you are applying for. What, what would be a title of a job? What do they mean by the title of the job? What's an example of a title? A certificate. Not a certificate, but the title of the job. What's a security guard? Security guard, security officer. Security officer. Teacher, designer, nurse's, nurse's aide. Right, that's the first thing you want to say. This is the job I want. I am applying, I'm writing to apply for the. Yes, for this job, for that job. The first thing you want to say is this is the job that I am applying for because they might have multiple openings and you want to let them know which one you want. Next part tell how you found out about the job. Let's read it together. Tell how you found out about the job. What are some ways that we find out about jobs? Friend. A friend told me that you have an opening. So one of, uh, yes, one of your employees told me that you have an opening for a security guard. The newspaper. The internet. The internet. Now, if you found out in the newspaper or the internet, you want to let them know which one. I saw in Sunday's Brockton Enterprise that you have an opening for a CNA. Or I, I noticed your posting on Indeed.com. I saw your posting at CareerWorks. So be sure to let them know where you saw the job posting. 
Let's say the, the next part. Say that you are interested in the job. Say that you are interested in the job. Say that you have enclosed your resume. Say that you have enclosed your resume. So that's very important. Don't forget to attach your resume. <laughs> Write two or three sentences. Write two or three sentences. About your experience. About your experience. And or. And or. Your transferable skills. Your transferable skills. So if you're applying for a job in which you have experience, for example, if you are an architect and you have experience in community design, if you are a CNA and you have experience working in a nursing home, write about that, or a hospital, then write about that. If you're applying for a job in which you have no experience, then write about your transferable skills. Remember we talked about skills that you had from one job that can transfer to another job. Two or three sentences. Remember it doesn't have to be very long. So far so good. Questions? Okay. Then finally the closing. Let's read it together. Closing. Thank the manager. Write sincerely. Write your signature. Write your signature. And follow with your typed name. Your typed name. Now that sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Sounds like a lot of information for less than one page. <laughs> so let's take a look on the next page. Here's an example. This is an example of a cover letter. Uh, we're not going to. Uh, well, let's read the top again. The top is kind of repetitive, but there is a part there that I want us to look at that is different. Let's repeat the top. The cover letter together. The cover letter. The cover letter. When you send your resume to an employer, when you, send your resume to an employer you must also send a cover letter. You must also send a cover letter. Many employers will not look at your resume. If you do not send a cover letter, the cover letter must be typed. It must be short, less than one page. It must be in business letter format. Mention the skills in your resume. That are relevant for the position in the ad. If you do not have experience, mention your transferable skills and qualities. When possible, use the language in the ad. And let's read the job summary. See where it says caregiver job summary? These are the things that you need to be able to do in order to do this job successfully. Let's read it together. Caregiver job summary. Together. Caregiver job summary. Responsibilities include, but not limited to, the following. Meal preparation. Light housekeeping, Light housekeeping. Medication, reminders, medication reminders, personal care, personal care. Companionship, companionship, incidental transportation, incidental transportation. A, company to doctor, a company to doctor, shopping, shopping. and errands. And errands. Yeah. So these are the things that they want somebody to do. They're telling you that right in the ad. They also list, give you what the qualifications are for the job. Let's read the qualifications, everyone. Qualifications. Qualifications. CNA or HHA. CNA or HHA. With current license preferred. With current license preferred. But not required. But not required. So do I have to have my CNA certificate to, to apply for this job? 
No. I could be just a good, compassionate person. I could be taking the course, but not finished yet. So preferred, but not required. Good communication skills. Good communication skills. Work independently. Work independently. With a strong commitment to excellence. With a strong commitment to excellence. And high standards. And high standards. Strong desire to help seniors. To and other individuals in need of care. Versatility. Flexibility. And a willingness to work with constantly changing priorities. Successfully pass background screening. Now, do you see any words there that we talked about when we talked about why are you the best person for this job? <laughs> Remember we talked about well, why are you the best person for this job? Versatility, flexibility, I'm flexible. <laughs> Willingness to work, I'm a hard worker. Yeah, so these are all the qualifications. So they're telling you right here what they want in an employee. Use this in your cover letter. You take some of this language. You don't have to make it up from your head. Take some of this language that they're giving you and say, I am a blah, 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 <laughs> and I can do blah, 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 <laughs> based on what they're telling you right here. So this can make your job pretty easy when you look at the posting. When they tell you what they want, take the skills and the qualities that you have that match this and give it right back to them. Down at the bottom, it's asking you to think. How can you use the language in this posting in your cover letter? Let's read together. Look for the duties and qualifications on the list. Let's read together. Look for the duties. Look for the duties. And qualifications. And qualifications. On the list. On the list. Say that you can do these things. Say that you can do these things. Does the following example Does the following use the language in the ad? Use the language in the ad. We're right down here in the box, see? So what I've done here is I've taken the, some of the language in the ad. We're not going to write everything. We're not just going to repeat what it says in the ad. But down here in your cover letter, you could write something like this. If you wanted this job, Look at what they have in the ad and take some of this language right out of the ad. And in the part where you're going to write two or three sentences about your skills and experience, let's read together what this person says about himself or herself. I am experienced in meal preparation. I am experienced in meal preparation. Light housekeeping. Housekeeping. Medication reminders. Medication reminders. And personal care. And personal care. Those are the first caregiver job summary details, right? Those are the four of the things that they want. So this person is saying, I'm experienced in those things. I have what you need. I have an excellent driving record. I have an excellent driving record. And good communication skills. And good communication skills. It says this person needs to provide transportation, so he's saying, well, I have an excellent driving record. Down here, we need good communication skills, so I'm saying I have that. I enjoy working with seniors. I enjoy working with seniors. And individuals in need of care. And individuals in need of care. So what has this person done? This person has looked at what's here and thought about his or her qualities and skills and made his or her cover letter fit the job description. So when this person, when the manager reads the cover letter, the manager's going to say, wow, this person is exactly what we need. That's what you want to do when you write your cover letter. So be thinking about that when we write our cover letter. Questions so far? 
this will be different for each of you because everyone's looking for a different job. <laughs> so, but keep that in mind when you look at a job posting. Don't think, oh my gosh, how am I going to write my cover letter? What am I going to say? Look at the posting very carefully. Look for clues about what they're looking for and then take the language that they give you in the posting and fit that into your cover letter. All right, let's look at the example of the cover letter. And let's read it together. Up at the top is going to be your street, your city, your state, your zip code, today's date. The inside address is going to be what you find on the job posting. That's going to be the, the employer's name, title, the greeting. And let's just read the letter together. We don't have to read the top part. That's just the address part. But let's read this person's cover letter and see if this person's cover letter meets all the criteria that they listed on the front. It's a very short letter. Look how short it is. Let's see if it meets all the criteria, if it meets all the requirements. Dear Mr. Phillips, everybody with me? Here we go. Good confidence. Ready? I'm going to wake everybody up on Friday morning. <laughs> Dear Mr. Phillips, Good. I saw your job posting at CareerWorks. I saw your job posting at CareerWorks. Seeking a certified nursing assistant. Seeking a certified nursing assistant. <laughs> We're on the sample letter. <laughs> if you saw it on the internet or Monster, Indeed, I used the example of Craigslist. I saw your job posting on Craigslist. Let's read it together. I saw your job posting on Craigslist seeking a certified nursing assistant. Seeking a certified nursing assistant. All right, you can do better than that. <laughs> I'm looking for good pronunciation, good confidence, because when you interview, that's going to be so important. Ready? I saw your job posting on Craigslist. I saw your job posting on Craigslist. Seeking a certified nursing assistant. Seeking a certified nursing assistant. Good. I'm listening for good intonation, good inflection, good confidence. Because if you do that here, you're going to do it when you go out, right? <laughs> I saw your ad in the Brockton Enterprise. I saw your ad in the Brockton Enterprise. Seeking a certified nursing assistant. Seeking a certified nursing assistant. Or, a friend told me, a friend told me that you have an opening for a certified nursing assistant. Very good. I'm going to ask you to speak just the way you're going to speak in your interview. Because when we read, you're not going to go into your interview and say, I saw your job posting on Craigslist. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're going to speak here just like you speak in your language when you're animated and you move. So we're going to read that way here so that it feels very natural when you go out of this room and speak English to others. All right. So let's begin the letter again. Dear Mr. Phillips. Dear Mr. Phillips. I saw your job posting at CareerWorks. I saw your job posting at CareerWorks. Seeking a certified nursing assistant. Seeking a certified nursing assistant. I am very interested in this position. I am very interested in this position. And have attached my resume. And have attached my resume. Notice here it says attached my resume. If you are sending your resume via email, or you're uploading it, you're going to say attached. If you're sending it in regular mail, you're going to use the word enclosed. Attached is when you use it email and you use that little paper clip attachment. So we will use enclosed if it's um, in an envelope. Enclosed. Enclosed is when you're sending it in the regular mail. I have enclosed my resume. But when we send it electronically on the computer, we're going to say, I have attached. Um, when you're describing, when someone says to you, why are you the best person for the job? You want to talk about qualities. And uh, for example, if you're applying for a job taking care of people, like a nursing assistant, you want to say, well, I'm very patient. I'm compassionate. I'm 
I care about people. I'm flexible, yeah. If somebody um, doesn't show up for work and you need me to work on another floor or do a different job, I'm okay with that. And efficient is good for any job. I can work very quickly, but my work is accurate, it's correct. So you want to tell people, this is why I'm the best person for the job. You want to hire me because I'm better than all those other applicants. <laughs> so let, remind me to give you that information. All right, let's read the instructions together, then I'm going to let you work on this. Now write your own cover letter together. Everybody up at the top of the next page? Yes. yes. Now write your own cover letter. Now, now write your cover letter. To Robert Smith. To Robert Smith. He is the facility manager. He is the facility manager. At Smith Enterprises. At Smith Enterprises. His address is 211 Crescent Street, Brockton, Massachusetts, 02301. Choose any position you are interested in. Make sure the information you include agrees with the information on your resume. <laughs> now, if you haven't given me your resume information yet, you don't have a resume yet. So you have to just remember, I, you have the information you need to fill in the employer's name. You're going to put your street address, follow the instructions here. The employer's name is Robert Smith. His job title is facility manager. You can make up where you, where you saw it. You can say you saw the job at CareerWorks, you can say you saw it in the Brockton Enterprise, wherever you would like. Choose a job that you want. Choose a job that you really would like to apply for. And think about your skills and your background and write a cover letter applying for that job. Okay? If you have experience when you apply for the job, you can do that, um, is my first job. Again. Sure. Sure. Then you're going to think about your transferable skills. Skills that you have from your past jobs that would also be helpful in this new job. Because sometimes jo jobs that you've had in the past utilize the same types of skills that you're going to need for the new job. So don't let that stop you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come around, and if you need any help, just ask.